So ask Molly anything. My girlfriend Molly is uh, in studio. You can ask her whatever you want. 877-995-4681 to call. 993-38 to text. To Woodbridge we go. Ozzy, good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, man. Can you just make sure you turn off your radio in the background, okay? And so oh, you uh, you can ask my girlfriend Molly anything. What do you got, friend? Hey, Molly. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So how do you feel about his friendship with Sauce? How do you feel about friendship with Sauce? Oh. If you don't know, do a podcast together. She used to be here. Now she's in Atlanta. No, I think it's awesome. I love, I mean, all of John's friends are the most supportive people, and she's one of them. I just think that it's great that he has somebody who's so supportive of him. And I'm really excited to go on tour all together. Yes. And it's cool, too. <laughs> like, I think is radio is a weird industry, so having somebody in the industry to bounce things off of is uh, good, too. So, Ozzy, man, thank you for calling. Have a great day. No problem. Take care. Bye. Let me go. To, uh, Jamie, good morning. Good morning. All right. He asked my girlfriend anything. Uh, what do you have for us? Um, what is something that he does that drives you crazy? <laughs> now, Molly, you have to answer something. <laughs> so. Oh, man. This is a it's hard not. one. <laughs> um, I think two things. The first one, I think he's a little bit too hard on himself. So I think that it always bothers me because... I think I've said this before on here. I think he's just, he's doing great and needs to be a little bit less hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, Also, he gives me wet willies, which really (laughs) annoys me. (laughs) Like, that's like a day ruiner. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, that's fun, though. And like, you you? you always know when they're coming, too. That's like the worst. No, I don't. I I mean, I haven't landed one in in a minute, I feel like. So, uh, but I appreciate Mm -hmm. that. Thank you. Jamie, thank you for calling. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Let me go to uh, Chanel. Good morning. Good morning. All right, you can ask my girlfriend Molly anything. What would you like to ask? I want to know if there's one item of decor in your house. What is it that you would change? Not in Molly's house, in your house. Oh, no, that's her fault. Now, again, Molly, you have to say something. I know it's hard. You have to say something. Um, So John's house is like a cracker barrel. Like, there's a lot okay. of pictures <laughs> all yeah. around. Yeah. Um, But honestly, no, I like your decor because really? I think it celebrates you. Yeah. Look at that. I maybe would put a picture of myself and my dog on the wall. Um, That's probably true. But there's nothing I would remove. I really like everything you have up there. This you is, did a good job. This is going surprisingly well. I just feel like I'm going to- I can uh, be a little meaner. Uh, no, it's not to that. <laughs> Chanel, thank you for calling. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Uh, okay, let me go to a Gaithersburg. Michelle, good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey, so you can ask my girlfriend Molly anything. What do you want to ask? Let me start by saying I love you guys. I've been listening to you from the start, and I called in once before, got through, and congratulated my daughter for What's Good Wednesday for learning how to be potty trained. Oh, uh, uh, yes. My question, <laughs> yes. My question is, what is the most annoying thing John has ever done? Oh. <laughs> Again, Mal, you have to answer something. Um, The wet willies are up there. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I hate those. Right? It's annoying. Um, I'll tell you what I do. If like, we're at a restaurant, I'll say you can't steal stuff, and I'll try to hide salt shakers in your purse. Oh, my God. No. Leave. Yeah. We'll like be wa- Even at like CVS, we'll be yeah. walking through, and he'll say loudly in front of the cashier, oh, don't steal anything this time. And it makes make sure. me feel so uncomfortable. I'm yeah. like, I, I promise I didn't steal. Yeah. You can look at my purse. Well, I'm, just, I'm just making sure. So I'll that, see you that, fart in your sleep. Okay. Guys, uh, that's pretty bad, John. All that's right, Michelle. Whose side do you want, Michelle? All right, Michelle. Thank you for calling. Have a great day. Hi, my man. My man. To a Bealton VA, Kim, good morning. Good morning, John. This is Bird Cloud. How are you? Oh, what's up, Kim? So your question for my girlfriend, I'm Molly. What you got? Um, I wanted to know if he acts overly manly around you or acts like a big teddy bear. Do I act overly manly around you or am I a teddy bear? Um, A teddy bear, for sure. I think... Aww. Yeah, I, I don't think you try to be manly around me anymore. <laughs> Maybe when we first started dating, but but uh, but still a bear though. Well, yeah, like, still could rip faces. Not the little to. bear. That's Chewy. No, that's the little bear. <laughs> I'm a little bear. Cam, thank you for calling. Have a great day. Thanks you too. Bye. Uh, let me go to uh, Woodbridge. We go. Stephanie. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. All right. So your uh, question from my girlfriend. All, yes. Yes. First of all, I want to say Molly, you have a great radio voice. Oh. Just to say. Thank you. And second of all, you're welcome. What is the sweetest thing about John or something, the sweetest thing he's done for you? Ooh. That's hard, honestly, because he does a lot. Um, 
And he does things without me asking. Like there was one day um, I was having a bad day and he woke up early the next day and like before I even got up and took my car and got it basically detailed on the inside and the outside oh. and then filled it with gas. Uh-huh. And that was really sweet because I, yeah, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed even that day. So it was great to wake up and he had, he had done awesome. all that for me. And he left snacks for me nice. in the car, which was nice because I, I like food. Yes. Oh. yes. You guys are awesome. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Uh, Stephanie, thank you for calling. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. I feel like you're ruining my cred because I don't know if you know this about me, uh, Molly. I have a reputation of being a badass and a striking fear in people, <laughs> and you're letting people know that that's not the case sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah to, uh, <laughs> Sterling, we go. Betty, good morning. Morning. All right, your question for my girlfriend. What you got? So a little bit of backstory. My fiance and I have just been kind of, we're planning a wedding, and so it's stressful, and we find that, like, we argue a little bit more during this phase just because we realize our opinions are so different. So I know yesterday on the show you were kind of asking what you guys do that kind of make them a little bit more attractive when it comes to things like that. So I wanted to know... Molly, what does John do when you guys are in disagreement to, like, make up for it? Um, Well, that's one thing that I really appreciate about our relationship is he and I can talk. Like, we communicate really well. Um, So I think him just always letting me talk and get what I, you know, want to say out and listening. And then just, you know, he never comes and's like, why would you say that? Um, You know, it's never anything serious. We never fight about anything. No. serious um or really oh. fight at all but when we disagree yeah he he's very like he just listens to me and doesn't you know um cut me off and stuff like that and then we have a conversation then we usually end up just like joking at the end mm-hmm. um and so i don't know i, I think that just communicating being being awesome oh look at that <laughs> yeah. god this is i was uh-huh. like, okay. i think you know yeah. you think what well, I also help in the communicating part. Oh, no, you're really good. I'm mean, Obviously, because Molly's major was uh, psychology. So she's really good at talking things out. So I think that's that's very, uh, very good. So, Betty, thank you for calling. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Um, yeah, I think you and I don't really, like, we have, like, not disagreements, but we more so try to understand where the other one's coming from, which I think is uh, good. Yeah. There's, oh, the, what's the grossest thing I've done? No. No, no. Somebody else asked, uh, <laughs> when are you going to get uh, John on a horse? Done that. He's been on a horse. Mm-hmm. I had to like pry him up there because he didn't want to get up there. Okay. But he liked it once he was up there. He wanted an Instagram picture. Yeah. Well, <laughs> duh. Um, what is the most romantic thing I've done? Um. Well, besides like those little things like yeah. taking my car and stuff like that, um, he gets me flowers almost every week, which is really nice. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Can I remember when I was a spitting game at you? And um, I said to you, uh, I said, you deserve to be happy. Mm-hmm. And you said, so do you. And what I say back. You said, okay. No, I said, <laughs> I said, I know I do. And so let so, me know when. Yeah. And that was smooth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody else asked, is John good in bed? I sleep pretty well, I think, for the most part. I don't toss and turn. Yeah. I mean, he sleeps soundly. Yeah. I'm a pretty, I'm pretty good in bed in that sense. Unless Chewie gets in there, then it's a little bit different. So. <laughs> Uh, there is that. I think that's what they meant. 